welcome to aj mathematics today i am going to discuss circle arrangements if you haven't watched line arrangement please do watch line arrangement before circle arrangement then you will get clear idea about these arrangements let's get started before discussing circle arrangement i'll give you a few points about line arrangement also then you will get some idea about the line arrangement as well now in line arrangement we know that extreme to the left end will be the left extreme to the right will be the right end so this is to extreme our left that is left end this is to extreme our right that is right end and we know that one more thing that is if any person faces north we can imagine ourselves north so which means that our right will become his right and our left will become his left so be clear guys this we are going to help in a circular arrangement as well and if any person faces south we already faces north so our right will become his left and our left will become his right so this is the left side of him and this is the right side of him if anybody faces south so just remember these points these points we are going to discuss in the circle arrangement as well okay now coming to the circle arrangement the basic point here is all are facing the center okay most of the cases all are facing the center that is a default thing we can take it default thing means if a question doesn't say anything we can consider that point as a starting point for the question so in a circle arrangement the default thing is all are facing the center now if all are facing the center so for example if a person is sitting here he is facing the center like this and if a person is sitting here he is facing the center like this and if a person center here like this and if the person sitting here he faces like this okay and the easiest part for this question is the north facing person find out where do we have north facing person now he is facing south and he is facing east he is facing west and finally he is facing north so if any person faces north we can imagine ourselves there which means that this is the right side of him and this is the left side of him because these are our, our directions and north facing person and you are the same and he is south facing person which means that our right will become his left and our left will become his right so this is the one point you need to remember now he is facing east so which means that this is the left side of him and this will be the right side of him and he is facing west which means this is the right side of him and this is the left side of him and when you observe and if you consider 12 3 6 and 9 if you assume a clock here so right is rotating anti clockwise direction and left is rotating clockwise direction you should remember this point this will be very very helpful point while solving the question so if it is a circle arrangement all are facing the center right is rotating anti clockwise direction left is rotating clockwise direction and bottom most person is facing north so we can imagine ourselves there at the north okay now let's go with the basics of uh, circle arrangement so here we have three types of a questions one is facing center and this is the default thing so if a question doesn't say anything we can consider all are facing the center and the question also say that all are facing inside that center all are facing towards the center so anything is same all are facing center the next thing is facing outside they can also say that outer side and outwards of this so anything which means that outer side and the third kind of a question is this is a very uh, complex kind of a question here few are facing the center and few are faces outside okay these are the three kinds of a questions we have and here see these six people are there six people facing the center so this is the right side of him and this is the left side of him and this is the right side of him and this is the left side of him okay so right is rotating anti clockwise direction left is rotating clockwise direction that we can understand rsc here we have only five people are sitting in a circle facing the center okay it is clearly says that facing center and one more thing we can understand here is five people are there now if five people are there then they you won't get any phases questions now i am first uh, drawing a circle like this okay now here we have five people i placed a first position here and the second position should be opposite to the first position now this is the way you need to uh, understand third position i am taking here fourth should be opposite to the third and anyhow you are not getting any phases question 
50 you can take anywhere okay now let's consider r is immediate left to 2t now be clear here there is a statement which says r is to the left side of t of t which means what for t r is the left side now first you need to place this alphabet so i am placing this alphabet at the down why because now here t is facing north and facing center which means that this is the right side of t and this is the left side of t so imagine first if you place another person at the bottom then you will get confused so that's why i am placing a person at the bottom so you won't get confused because bottom person is facing north and bottom person directions and your directions are the same now here r is immediate left to t which means that r you can take it here now the next p is between s and t now t is here p is between s and t means what p we should take here and s you can take here this is yes next who is immediate left of r now as of now we placed only four but here we have five alphabet so i am taking fifth alphabet at the empty place and the question is asking who is to the left side of r and this is r r is also facing center and we know that right is rotating anti clockwise direction left is rotating clockwise direction okay now based on this point what we can understand uh, which is the left side of r so this is the left side of r because anti clockwise direction now answer for the question is q okay because q is the left side of r now be clear guys answer for the question is q and option for the question now which option says q that we need to search it which option says q a says q so answer for the question is q option for the question is a so hope i am clear let's solve the next question so here we have six friends which means that even number of people are there so if you have a even number of people you may get phases question so be clear while arranging the people now here a b c d e f so total six people are there so as i already told you first person i am taking here and second position i am talking about second position should be opposite to the first third i am taking here fourth should be opposite to the third fifth i am taking here sixth should be opposite to the fifth so these are the arrangement you have to take it and don't consider sixth place is here if you consider sixth place is here you will get uh, a different answers which are the wrong answers you will get it because there is no facing person here at uh, this position now come to the solution e is to the left side of d now first i place d here because if i am placing d here d is facing north which is very easy for me to go with left and right so e is to the left side of r so this is the left side of r so here we can place e next c is between a and b now as of now we didn't placed a and b so leave uh, the statement like that next f is between e and a so e is already placed so f is between e and a means what we should consider like this and we placed a now we'll go with this statement c is between a and b now we can consider like this now arrangement is completed now the question is who is to the right side of b so it doesn't say that second right or third right so you can directly say that it is immediate right so who is immediate right of b now for b which is the right side right is anti clockwise direction that we know and left is clockwise direction now anti clockwise direction means what towards the top side so this is the right side of b and it is asking who is to the right side of b so c is the answer for the question now be clear everyone answer for the question is c but in a hurry you will go with the option as c if you pick option as c it means that d is to the right side of b but it is not c is to the right side of b now we need to search for the option which says c now which option says c d option says c so ans answer for the question is c option for the question is d so be clear guys why i am focusing this much because this is the main area you people get confused now let's solve the next question so here also we have uh, six people so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 i am taking like this now the first point says that d is between f and b okay so if you take d is between f and b in the first itself you may get confused because either f may be left side of d or f may be right side of d so just leave a state leave the statement for a while next a is second to the left of d now here it says for d a is the second left now i am taking d at the bottom 
so a is the second left means a should be here because this is the first left and this is the second left and this is the left side of d and we know that right is anti clockwise direction uh, left is clockwise direction as these are all facing the center okay now so a is second to the left of d and second to the right of e so now it says a is second to the right of e now as of now we didn't placed e now for that i am if i am rewriting the statement a is second to the right of e it will become e is second to the left of a and we know that left is clockwise direction so this is a clockwise direction now e is second to the left so this is first left and this is second left e will be here next c is second to the right of b now we already know that d is between f and b for example if i am taking b here if i am taking b here c is second to the right of b now uh, f should be here because d is between f and b so if i am taking b here there is no place for c so that's why we should consider the other one other arrangement that is b is here and f is here so c is second to the right of b so this is the right side of b this is the solution for the question now let's uh, go with the question here who is second to the right of e who is second to the right of e now answer for the question second to the right of e first right is c second right is a now answer for the question is a let's search for the option for the question now which option says a that we need to go with it now which option says a d e says a now option for the question is d now here we have eight people so i am taking a circle now how do we place first position is here second position is here third is here fourth is here fifth i am taking here sixth i should be opposite to the fifth seven i am taking here eight should be opposite to the seven so this is how you need to place the positions first now the first statement says all are facing the center anyhow d is between b and g so again this statement doesn't give you a clarity about b and g so that's why i am leaving the statement next f is between a and h so this is also the same thing doesn't give you any clarity about the a and h next e is second to the right of a now i am placing a here e is second to the right of a which means this is the right side of a now this is first right this is second right e should be here the next point says that g is immediate left of h now we didn't place h now we'll go with the statement so here we placed a and we are placed e here now let's for search for the statement is there any statement talking about a or e now let's see this this statement is talking about a and h so f is between a and h means what f should be here and h should be here the next g is immediate left of h now we know that left is clockwise direction so this is the left side g is immediate left of h means what g should be here now after placing g consider the first statement that is d is between g and b so d is between g and b means what b should be here so b should be here so this is how we need to draw the arrangements now the question is what's the position of b with respect to a now with respect to a means what from a what is b's position from a what is the position of b and we didn't placed c as of now so c is here and the position of b with respect to a so for a first right is c for a first right is e second right is e sorry and for a third right is b now we need to go with third right now do we have a third right here now this is second right this is third to the right so answer for the question is third right the position of b with respect to a that is third right and it is also b first left second left third left fourth left and fifth left so if you consider this side that is the fifth left but fifth left is not there in the option now we will go with third right now next question is who faces a who faces a which means that the opposite of a opposite of a is answer answer for the question is d now option for the question option for the question is c so hope i am clear with eight persons we have eight people so i am taking eight persons here so one i am taking here two should be opposite to that three i am taking here four should be opposite to that five i am taking here six should be opposite to that seven i am taking here eight should be opposite to seven now the question says b sitting and all are facing the center anyhow so he is the not facing person um, 
B is sitting between G and D. So B is sitting between G and D means what? Again, we have a confusion whether we need to place G is at the left side of B or right side of B. Next, H is third to the left of B. Now, if I'm placing B here, now left side of B, our left will be B's left. So H is third left, first left, second left, third left. So H is here, the next. And second to the right of A. So here, H is second to the right of A. I'm rewriting the statement because I didn't place A. So if I'm rewriting here, a is second to the left of H. Now second to the left of H means this is the left side of H because left is clockwise direction. So this is first left and this is second left. So A we can place here. The next point, uh, B and E are not sitting opposite to each other. Okay, before that we have C is between A and G. So C is between A and G means what we should consider like this. And one more point here, B is sitting between G and D. So G is already placed here. So D we should take here and B and E are not opposite to each other. Now we left with only E and F, but B and E are not opposite means what E should be here and F should be here. So this is how we need to uh, place the person. Now the question, who is third to the right of D? Now third to the right of D, we know that right side of D is like this because right is anti-clockwise direction. Third right, first right is B, second right is G, third right is C. Now answer for the question. Answer for the question is C. Option for the question is D. Now option is D. Next, H is between. Now see H is between E and F. So H is between E and F means what? Option is C. Next, who faces A? Which means opposite side of A. Opposite side of A means what? D. So answer for the question is uh, D. And option for the question is C. So be clear guys. Hope I am clear with the circular arrangement. In a later videos, I will also discuss more complex questions and circle with outside facing and a combination of inside and outside. So thank you so much for watching my channel. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.